We mourn the passing of one of Dungeon Family's founders, Rico Wade. Rico Wade is one third of Organized Noise, um, and he is uh, it's like the the mouthpiece for that collective of producers. Um, uh, he was um, connected to LaFace Records through Pebbles. Um, and because he knew, he went to school with uh, T. Yon, T. Boz Watkins from TLC, and she connected him with Pebbles. And through them, Pebbles introduced Rico to L.A. Reed. You know what I mean? So he was like the gateway to get to L.A., as well as the producers who produced Southern Playlistic. Um, they signed Outkast, you know what I'm saying? Organized Noise were responsible for signing us to LaFace Records through a production deal. So without Rico Wade, Pat, Pat, Sleepy Brown, and Ray Murray, there would be no Outkast, you know what I mean? They, they believed in us, and they put all their you know, blood, sweat, and tears into making our first album and inviting us into the house. Rico Wade, mom and sisters, and him lived in that house that was called The Dungeon. So we were like maybe... Ten of us with sleeping bags, and Pat, we slept on the hardwood floor there with no beds, with some raggedy sofas. But if it wasn't for Beatrice Wade, that's Rico's mom, letting us into that house, there would be no outcast, goody mob, nothing. No, don't go chasing waterfalls, none of that. You know what I mean? So definitely got to pay homage to, to the Wade family. 